Temperatures are dropping slowly. The leaves are falling. That means one thing. We're in the heart of high school football season. Teams are slowly distancing themselves from the pack, trying to prove who's a real contender and who's not. Welcome into the prep rally. I'm Ahmad Hicks. And let's start over in Alton. The Redbirds came out fired up at home against the East St. Louis Flyers. But the tide quickly turned. This is the opening kickoff. Jamariante Burgess appears to be stopped, but here he comes to the near sideline. He picks up a good gain into Alton territory. They didn't leave empty handed. Tyler Macon airs it out for Lawan Powell Jr. No one near him as he hauls it in for the lead. Alton would try to stop the Flyers, but with no luck. Eastside back up to their own five, but Macon will go deep again. Keontes Lewis is there, and 95 yards later, he's going in for the score. They led 14 to nothing. The Flyers were off and rolling the final in that one, 54 to 7. Slew trying to hang tough with the powerhouse CBC at home tonight. Cadets quarterback Aiden Robinson Wayne gets CBC on the board first and the, with this nice quarterback keeper to the end zone, he will go 7-0 CBC. And then later in the game, a big running play by Jordan Clay gets the Cadets into Slew territory. And then you know what their playmaker's going to do? He's going to finish it. Aiden Robinson Wayne gets the ball. He goes in again for himself. CBC rolls all over Slew by a final score of 45-14. St. Dominic traveling to St. Mary's, taking on the Dragon Sweet uniforms there. St. Mary's quarterback Cameron McCoy connects with Kevin Coleman, who does the rest. You guys will hear his name a lot on Saturdays in the future. He goes into the end zone, Dragons on top early. Later in that game, it's St. Dominic's quarterback Gabe Siri with the nifty moves to avoid a couple of Dragons defenders. But this big hit from Deshaun Fuller, Siri will leave the game with a nasty ankle injury moments later, and St. Mary's will go on to win 33 to 14. The Luther North Crusaders took on their counterparts from Lutheran South tonight. The first snap of the game goes over North's quarterback Brian Brown's head and Cam Offerman tackles him in the end zone for safety. Mizzou head football coach Barry Odom in the house for this one, likely checking in on linebacker Antonio Doyle, who recently reopened his recruiting. North would break this one open eventually. Jordan Smith takes this pass and he goes 61 yards for the score with some love for our cameraman after the play as well. You always have to love that. Luther and North wallops Luther and South 90 to 8. Yeah, big game. Lindbergh traveling to Marquette to take on the Mustangs. It was a tie game until Chris Craig got the handoff and he showed the Flyers he's not lacking any horsepower. He was off and rolling, turned on the afterburners, and the Stangs would go up 14 to 7 after that score. Watch him hurdle that guy at the end. That's how you finish off the run. Now, after a flyer punt, Marquette trying to add to their lead when George Williams is picked off by Lindbergh's Aiden Clancy. No worries, though. Marquette goes on to win 37 to 14. Shamanai traveling to Jefferson City to take on the Jays. Mizzou commit Brady Cook finding Elijah Griffin early, and then Griffin does the rest. He goes 65 yards to put the Red Devils up over the Jays. And then we'll pick this one up a little later on. It's a Mark Johnson. He takes the handoff from Cook. He's gone. He takes that one to the house. Shamanai goes on a win over Jeff City, 50 to 21. All right, how about the most adorable moment of the night? We'll pick this one up with Muscuda taking on Civic Memorial and sophomore Melvin Hodge taking a break from the field to play in the band at halftime. Talk about some skills right there. Once that's over, it's back to football, a little instruction, and off he goes to play against Muscuda. Nice block here as he helps clear the way for Karan Parchman. Nice second effort as he goes up for some good yards. The defense were king tonight. The Indians going for it on fourth down, but they can't make connections on the pass. Civic Memorial goes to four and one as they win 14 to 11. How about the Pioneers of Kirkwood taking on Pattonville? The Pioneers flexing their muscles on defense. The Pirates, Logan Williams trying to find someone down the field when Kirkwood's William Lee sneaks up behind him, strips the ball, and it would set up a nice return for Jason Petty. And then what do you do after you get a turnover? You go score. Moments later, Cannon Neslich, he would be dropping back and he would avoid a little bit of pressure. And watch who he finds. The Mizzou commit, Jay Macklin. Tigers all over our highlight tonight. Pioneers Cameron Macon will score moments later and Kirkwood rolls 38 to 17.
How about a little rivalry? Clayton taking on Ledoux at that beautiful new stadium. This was already 30 to nothing when we showed up, and then Marizan, Mar Marzion Cosby made the gap even wider with this 55-yard score. Look where he left, went out of bounds maybe a few times, but hey, still touchdown, it counts. Rams up 37 and a half, and Ledoux's Mel Woodson will add on in the third with this short touchdown run, and Ledoux goes on to shut out Clayton 43 to nothing.